GTT students, today we will model part 07 right here. You can see that there is a main block, rectangular block in the middle, and then two little shorter blocks on each side of it. So the end product on Inventor, we want it to look like this. So to make sure we know how to count this out, let's make sure we know what our axes, how to label our axis. Remember, the x direction goes like this, just like in Venter. This is your x, which is your width. Up and down is your y, that is your height. And then your depth, front to back, is your z. So. First thing we will sketch is this center block, center rectangle right here. You're going to have to imagine that it actually goes through here for now. I'm a little off, but that's all right. Okay. So x equals, you should count on your sheet. Make sure you understand that x equals 4. Y, Y equals 6. When you go to Inventor, you open a new standard IPT, which is your part file, standard IPT. We're modeling this. We went over Inventor Flow. You create a sketch. Hitting the plus sign over here is also good. Sketching on the XY plane. X, Y plane, which is that, which is this, which is the front, because we are sketching a rectangle where X equals 4, left and right is 4, so you type in 4, tab, and the height is 6, hit enter, you hit the front here, you notice that your numbers are ready, hit escape a couple times, you might want to drag this out hover over it, drag it out. You have a rectangle that is 6, tab 4. Another way to do this is when you sketch a rectangle, you always want to start at the origin, green dot, up and to the right. You will notice that we don't have any dimensions. There are two dimensions needed over here. If you do it this way without typing in the numbers, you can hit dimension here, dimension, click on this line. We don't want it that distance, we want it four. And you notice it's like a game, now we have one dimension needed. This height should not be that height, it should be six. Hit enter, hit escape, hit front, and you notice now you are fully constrained. Now you are allowed to click finish sketch, hit the home button. You know what's up. Go back to our drawing over here. You are sketching in 2D, and when you extrude it in 3D, that's when you get this depth. Z equals 3. So we go to Inventor, get extrude. We don't want to extrude it that much, we want to extrude it 3. Okay? You now have the center block. It's always good to change the color. Make it entertaining for yourself. It is required you change the color. Any color you choose. Light red looks good. This would be a good time to save. You hit the disk. Hopefully you are saving all these parts to a awesome GTT folder you've made in the past. I will save it to my GTT folder. I could right click make a new folder. New folder. New folder, good. Could call these uh, blocks March. Or you save it to whatever folder you need to save it to. I haven't made a folder yet, so I just made one. I want to save it in there. Good file name is your last name. And this is block 07. Save. 
it. Yes. Good. So now we look at this. I'm going to erase some of this here. Get it out of the way. We already have the center part. We now need to sketch this rectangle over here, which is on the right side, which is on the right side of the block we already made. So if we count the dimensions this way, Z, Z equals five, I believe, and Y equals three. When you go to your inventor, we create a 2D sketch on this side of the block, because this is the right side of the block. We are sketching a rectangle. I'll show you another way to do this. Make sure you see the green dot in this corner, up and to the left. Click, you should have two green lines, two blue lines. We need two dimensions, hit escape a couple times. We need two dimensions. The dimension we want here is, we don't want it like that. We want it like that number. Dimension, click, click on that blue line. Three up and down is correct. I got it exact. So now, hopefully you fully constrained this rectangle on the right side of the block. You know you're on the right. You click right, center it off. You are now allowed to hit finish sketch. You are now allowed to hit the house. Let's go back here. We need to extrude this rectangle. By how much? Oh, I'm sorry, that is not Z. This is actually red is X. X equals two. So now, when you hit extrude, it consumes this sketch over here. If you watch, sketch two will go away. We don't want to extrude it that much. We want to extrude it two in the X, so it pops out correctly. We are about a third of the way done with this. This is your view cube. This lets you rotate the part in many directions. It lets you see the different sides of it. When you are lost in inventor outer space, if you click the home button, it takes you back home. We need to repeat the process now on the left side. So we will create a 2D sketch because we are not finished with the part. A 2D sketch, sketch on the left. We need to sketch a rectangle. That corner right there, you could just snap it to, actually let's make it like that. Have you practiced dimensioning? We need two dimensions, if you look in the bottom right. Remember, Z is five. Y height is three. Finish sketch, it should match. We are now extruding, adding this rectangle out two inches. When you hit the home, you are uh, finished with this part. We basically went through this flow chart here many times. You sketch, you constrain, you finish sketch, you extrude. Are you complete? No. Save. You sketch on some surface or side. Do it again. When you're complete, you hit save. So this would be a good time to hit save. Your teacher does not grade .ipt files. You need to place this on a CCP title block .idw file. So you get the new piece of paper up here, title block .idw. If you are unable to do this, you need to see your teacher to show you how to save this title block in the proper spot. So it's there every time. You type in your name, birth and last name, class and block, class and period number. Okay, hit OK. So now you have a blank CCP title block IDW file. You hit base. We have this window open. If you notice, one to one scale is too big. One to four might be more appropriate. One, two, three left clicks, four left clicks, right click, create, hover over the ISO view, which is the upper right, right click, you edit view. We want that in color. That is this one right here. You need your four text boxes, annotate, text. This is called the top view. This is called the front. 
And this is called the right. And we need three pieces of information in this text box. This is the ISO view, one to four scale, or whatever scale you used, and the color is red. Four text boxes in order to maximize your 25 points. Now we will dimension this completely. When you hit annotate dimension, we can dimension from this corner to this corner, drag it down, click. If a box pops up, you should uncheck the box. And then I like to dimension from here to here, from here to here. Okay, so you can dimension from corner to corner. Another way to dimension is just the line segment itself. So if you click this one, you can dimension that line segment, make it red, drag down, left click, hover over it, make it red, click, Drag up, left click. So now we have the X dimensions, we have the Z dimensions, now we need the Y dimensions. Y is a little tricky, you might need to go corner to corner. Drag out. Here you can just make it red, click, click, drag out. This would be a good time to save. Make sure you save it to your GTT folder. Sure, it's for me. Now, your teacher also does not grade CCP title block IDW files. You need to export this to .pdf format. So how to do that is I button, export, PDF. Make sure you save it wherever you're saving all these files. Hit save. When you do a fantastic job, should pop up. Okay. Today in class, we went over email etiquette. So when you write a new email, you need to write it to your teacher. And then you need to include subject line. GTT block 07 turn in. The subject lines were two points. Dear, please find attached my block 07.pdf file with dimensions. Thank you for grading this assignment. So remember, subject line, professional subject line, is two points. Writing two sentences is three points. And then you need to make sure you attach the PDF file. Do not attach inventor files because sometimes your teacher will grade on a computer without inventor. Therefore, he or she will not be able to open it. Make sure you attach the PDF file, then you're allowed to hit send. I'll also send this to the other GTT teachers. When you hit send, congratulations, you have finished block 07. Hopefully it sends an email world. And you should have a part that looks like this. Excellent job. You guys are becoming inventor professionals as we speak.